Say what I wish for, but I wish that I could have my own personal wish master. So you can piss away more stupid wishes? Dude, it's not like it's gonna come true anyway. But a Z-level horror movie character? Come on, didn't you want to at least have a run-in with the Demi-Gorgon or Candyman? But Mike, I gotta be me. I gotta be me, it's all I can be, I gotta be me. Will you take the baby locks off this door so I can jump out, please? Alright, I'm done. I just had to be me. Remember years back when you were blowing the cookie puss candles out on your birthday? Great band name, Blowing Cookie Puss, I called it. Yes! Anyway, I remember when you wished that you could marry the vampire version of Jennifer Esposito from Dracula 2000. She was a freaking fangtastic fox, motherfucker. Ugh. But the alliteration. So what do you say we get drunk and watch some quality Halloween programming? Rolling down the street, smoking in dough, sipping on gin and juice. Lay back. With my mind and my money and my money and my mind. Pick your poison. Although I do like Unskinny Bob, I also enjoy Talk Dirty to Me quite a bit. Well, I ain't gonna talk dirty to you, so what do you want to drink? What are you having, Sludgy? Red rum! What can I say? I love the little son of a bitch! <laughs> Elaine! Where do you keep the bourbon? <laughs> Bottoms up. You know, just playing it safe, how about a gin and tonic? What are you, a fucking octogenarian? That's some big word. Did you whip out your Franklin word whiz you want on Double Dare for that? Bet your ass I did. I'll make you your gin and tonic, but I may have to go to the senior citizen's home down the street to get the bottle because I don't know if it's still here. This is a bald-faced lie. You had it here last time and I know you wouldn't be caught dead drinking it. I got it! You are in luck, my friend. <laughs> What is that in the bottle? Did you fuck with that? Cause I ain't drinking it. Hold up. What the fuck? How the hell did this happen? My wish from the fountain! Hell no. I refuse to believe that this isn't some prank that you're playing on me. Mocking me for liking old man drinks is one thing, but this is way too far. The Wishmaster is inside the bottle. The gin is in the gin. It's a genie in a bottle, but how do we get him out? I've got something we can try. I can rub it the right way. My body's saying let's go, ooh, but my heart is saying no. Or I can do one of these jobs. Or, the much simpler solution. Holy shit! Whoa! You've brought me out of 
of that infernal bottle. The face of fear itself has returned, and I'm loose in New Jersey to feed on wishes. You've transported me back into the world, and for that, I will grant you three wishes. Only limited to your imagination. Your Honor, I'd like to take a sidebar. Guys, a word? Will you choose wisely this time? In case you're at a loss, I'd like a Porygon, so I can finish my Gen 1 Pokedex. I would like a motorized toxic waste barrel so I could get around this place on my own like R2-D2. And to motorboat Christina Hendricks and 50 McDonald's Halloween gift certificates in my trick-or-treat bag. Thanks. Settle down, you two. Homemade raviolis from Spiritos. Go through the tunnel of love with Mona Lisa Vito. Resurrect Sammy Kerr for a comeback tour that kicks off at MetLife Stadium. Take Lexi Bell to the Enchantment Under the Sea dance. A 50-gallon Rubbermaid Roughneck filled with nachos. Got it. I wish for my very own horror hostess to MC everything I do. How impossibly frivolous of you. As if every imbecilic move you make needs to be announced for your two friends by a macabre mistress of the night. Be careful what you wish for. Now. I want you to tell all your friends about me. While you still have a soul. Okay, where'd he go? Hopefully back to Persia in 1127. Maybe he forgot to DVR Riverdale! Well, is everyone cool? It appears I dropped my lipstick as I transported here. Mm -hmm. and blobs. I'm your host, Florence Phantasma, and welcome to Jay's Life. <laughs> so that about wraps it up for tonight. Flo and I have to wrap about some things, so if you guys don't mind skedaddling. But I live here! Well, it's past your bedtime, so go right back <laughs> into your toxic waste barrel. Yep, there, yep. Okay. There you go. Very good. I'll see you tomorrow. Mike, as always, great seeing you, pal. So, it looks like we have a lot to catch up on. You have your own show. How can I tune in? Can I fix your drink? Got some vodka, Crystal Pepsi, Diet Dr. Thunder, Crystal Head Vodka, some OJ, some purple stuff, some glow balls, and some tequila. How about we slip into something more comfortable? Although, you do seem pretty comfortable already. I'll have a glass of your blood. <laughs> oh, I'm just messing with you, darling. Come on. Of course. I knew that. You wouldn't want to drink my blood anyway. It's mostly tequila and Dorito dust. I'll have a glass of tequila neat. And I mean a glass. Not a shot. That's my kind of girl. down to your nightly business and don't you worry about me. Stay tuned kids to see what other spooky scenarios Jay will get himself into next.
evening, my fellow darklings, and welcome to Creeps and Treats. I'm your hostess, Kimmy Chameleon. Who doesn't love mac and cheese? And it's so simple to make. But for today's recipe, I'm going to add a little local Jersey flavor to the mix. Pick up a couple of boxes of whatever knockoff cheapo brand mac and cheese you can find. I really don't care. And you're also going to want to pick up some green food coloring. Those are going to be your two main ingredients. And you're also going to want to cook it. It'll be less crunchy that way. Butter. After mixing all of the ingredients for the mac and cheese, add some green food coloring drops and mix it together to make it look like hideous toxic sludge. I almost forgot to add the special ingredient. Actual toxic slimy hideous waste found down the street at the local dump in Union City. Mmm. Exquisite. Thank you for joining me for this very special episode of Creeps and Treats. Join me again next week when I make fried femur bones inspired by the burbs and also some candy corn cream cheesecake bites inspired by children of the corn and also goosebump punch inspired by, well duh, goosebumps. Until next time, goodbye. Broadcasting live from Tinkle Town, it's Florence Phantasma. This hulk of a man is in his most primal setting. He's unleashed the beast in this hideous throne room. <laughs> Daddy's little monster, huh? That Harley, she's my kind of girl. Always super pale and has a real joker inside her. What pay tell is gonna happen next? Um, maybe you don't have to host this part? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good morning, boys and blobs. Jeez, do you actually sleep or do you just die and get reanimated? You want some coffee? Yes, have some. When the attacks first reappeared, what was going on in your life? 
I guess the main thing was that I lost those three buckets of horse semen. Three buckets. Your cousin was at your house. And your maid was crying about her cousin. Um, number one, I don't have a maid. Number two, this has nothing to do with my cousin. And number three, why does your half of the room look like that? And my half look like this? No wonder you're having anxiety attacks. You were so concerned about your cousin's foot, you collapsed on the golf course. Why do you keep bringing up cousins? I have never mentioned a cousin ever. Stop with the cousins. You want some water? Greetings, boys and blobs. We have a delightfully demonic evening whipped up for you. First, we'll be watching a double feature of the Halloween classic, Trick or Treat from 1986, followed by 2009's Trick or Treat. Are you ready? <laughs> so, I probably should have thought this whole wish thing through a little bit better. You think? My last shower was quite interesting. Let's just say one of us was still wearing their goth dress. Shower? I'll shower you with darkness and evil! <laughs> yes, please! <laughs> as long as there's showering involved, I'm in! You're crazy, Sludgy. Do you see anything you like? I'm sorry, Flo. I think it's that time. Boner time! The witching hour? Nope. Wrong on both counts. It's cold gin time again! If it isn't the pathetic human from the armpit of the universe again who has summoned me out of the bottle. Okay, cut the crap, Jean Genie. I know what my next wish is. Hit me with your best wish. Fire away! I wish to have the absolute best, most perfect Halloween ever. I will grant this wish if you promise that you will present me with your third and final wish. Thereupon my brethren will be unleashed to take the souls and wreak havoc all over New Jersey. Wouldn't make it any worse. Scout Trooper's honor. Until then, human garbage. Welcome back. I gotta tell you, Every time that genie pops in here, I just, I get hot flashes. I mean, it's so hot in here, I feel like I'm gonna pop out of my dress. Oh, oh, it's so goddamn hot. Listen, by all means, if you need to cool off, we completely understand. We're not easily offended. Oh. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Can I? Stop now, my arms are starting to hurt.
hope you've enjoyed your deplorable All Hallows Eve celebration. But now, the moment is upon us. It's time for my kind to take over and suck the souls out of every human on this planet. What is your, your final, final wish? wish? You listen to me. I'm not gonna let your scum species suck the souls out of the good people of New Jersey. My last wish is... Aren't you gonna make a wish? Yeah, you know what? I am. You wish for? I wish for my very own horror hostess, sort of like an Elvira, who just hosts everything I do. That's ridiculous. Just...